Jonathan Lee Riches, aka JLR. I like to share some very bad news that I learned about today. This really got to me a little bit, and it makes me seriously wonder. Um, we're talking about Don Wells. Don Wells. It's 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 sad. It's very very sad. Um, Don Wells. Since Summer Wells has been reported missing, Don Wells likes to play the blame game. He has thrown people under the bus. He has blamed numerous people for Summer's disappearance. He deflects it off of him and he throws names out there. Back in December, Don was on YouTube channels and he made a Facebook post about people who he thought had something to do with Summer's disappearance. He named Fred Hill. Fred Hill is a neighbor of Don Wells. He was mentioning him as possibly being involved with Summer's disappearance. He named Dudley A. John. Dudley A. John is a former co-worker of Don Wells who was fired the day before Summer was reported missing. He just dragged Dudley's name through the mud and that was bad itself. And, you know, God bless Dudley A. John and his wife for staying strong, going through, you know, the horrible accusations that Don Wells was saying about them. But there was another co-worker of Don Wells, Jerry McLean, who worked at Tucker Drywall for 20 years. Don Wells put a post on Facebook and he was blaming Jerry McLean, saying authorities should look at him. He knew should look at him. Don Wells knows he had something to do with Summer. It's, you know, very bad that he was throwing all these names out there. I just found out that Jerry McLean, who Don Wells blamed, died recently. He died in February, actually, February 2nd, 2022, of an overdose. He died of an overdose. And... Instantly, it made me wonder, well, that was only a few months after Don Wells was blaming him. Could have Don Wells caused him to overdose? You know, that was my thought. Or did depression uh, um, get to him? Why did he overdose? So I actually reached out to uh, Jerry McLean's sister, Nikki, because when Don Wells was blaming Jerry, she responded to his accusations. Check this out. So Don Wells posted on Facebook a while back, the sheriffs need to check Jerry McLean. I know he did something with Summer. Jerry is a creep and a molester. I hate this guy. Nikki McLean, the sister to Jerry, responded, this is BS. My brother wouldn't do something like this. So... She thought it was complete BS. And so I saw that. I saw that and I wanted to find out, whoa, why did Jerry McLean die? So I reached out to her and had a um, conversation with her. This is what our conversation was about. Check, check our correspondence out. My correspondence with Nikki McLean from Churchill, Tennessee. Hi, Nikki. Sorry for your loss. I have a question for you. She responds, what? Good morning. What happened to Jerry McLean? How did he pass away? She responds, that was my oldest brother. He OD'd on heroin. Did you know him? Hi, I am investigating on what happened to Summer Wells. I saw Don Wells blaming Jerry for it. I know your brother had nothing to do with it, in caps. Don was blaming co-workers. Then I heard Jerry died. How did Jerry feel about Don blaming him? And sorry for your loss. She responds, we didn't talk about it really. I received an email back in December from a girl named Jennifer Cooper, and that's how I found out. So I forwarded it to Jerry. He couldn't believe it. Am I like you? I know Jerry didn't have anything. I am like you, and I know Jerry didn't have anything to do with it. I respond, 
Again, sorry for your loss. Heroin is bad. Don Wells was throwing names out there of his co-workers to deflect. How long did Don, how long did Jerry work with him for? She responds, I'm not sure as far as working with Don, but he worked for Tucker Drywall for 20 years, probably. I respond, a friend of Jerry was saying that Jerry OD'd on purpose, causing, uh, cause he was upset about being blamed by Don. Any truth to that? She responds, I'm Jerry's only sister. I have two other brothers. I prefer to talk about this a different way. I said, I understand. Sorry for your loss. Hopefully Don didn't contribute. Wells have hurt many people directly and indirectly. She responds, I hope and pray that you find out what happened this summer. I have a lot of questions about Jerry's OD anyway, so I really don't know what else to tell you. Thank you for your time, Nikki. I will pray for you and your family. If you learn more, please let me know. We are trying to find Summer. I sure will. Thank you very much. And I said, God bless. She said, God bless you too. So this is the sister of Jerry, who Jerry McLean, who passed away a few months back on an overdose. So yeah, Jerry McLean died of an overdose. Not sure if it was because of Don Wells. She wasn't too sure. You know, what was going through Jerry's mind when he sees his name plastered out there as being involved in Summer's disappearance? You know, Don Wells has caused a lot of damage to people directly and indirectly in reference to this case. He has put a stain on the community's name. Literally. I mean, he was throwing out as far as kidnappers and meth people and human traffickers and dope dealers. He was just throwing out any and all possibilities except on Candace and him. And it's, it's, it's bad. It's very bad. You know, hopefully, you know, drug addiction is a serious matter, you know, and it's not good for anyone to overdose on drugs. Heroin is very bad. So, you know, God bless Jerry McLean and God bless his family. This is the obituary of Jerry Lynn McLean, former co-worker of Don Wells at Tucker Drywall. Christian Sells Funeral Home, Jerry Lynn McLean, April 12th, 1969, died February 2nd, 2022. So he died less than two months after Don Wells was publicly claiming that Jerry was involved with Summer's disappearance. And then there's the obituary, 52, he was only 52 years old. Says he worked for Don Wiggins Construction for many years. Jerry was a get up and go man and hard worker. He was a good father and friend. Jerry was always the one to make it a point to tell you that he loved you. He will be missed dearly. And then it lists his surviving family. Don Wells, in December 2021, mm -hmm. was blaming Jerry McLean, along with others, for Summer's disappearance. And within two months after that, Jerry died on February 2nd from an overdose. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Hopefully, you know, Jerry did not die because of what Don Wells said, you know, and that spiraled, spiraled him into depression because it was only a few months after Don Wells was blaming him. So let me know what you guys think. You know, when is Don Wells going to accept responsibility for what he did? When is Don Wells going to finally take ownership and stop throwing innocent people under the bus. Innocent names that Don Wells keeps throwing out. I mean, we spoke to Dudley Ajon and his wife. God bless them. And, you know, they, Don Wells caused them a lot of problems, a lot of just stress. It's, it's bad, you know, it's bad when you sit out there and you throw people 
you know, that are totally innocent, have nothing to do with Summer's disappearance out there. And this is coming from the father of Summer Wells, just absolutely blaming other people around him without, you know, him knowing what he did wrong. It's, it, it's, it's very bad. So Summer's still miss, uh, uh, missing. One year is coming up. Hopefully Don Wells doesn't get out of jail for his probation of violation charge that he's serving right now. Hopefully our wonderful law enforcement arrests him soon, holds him accountable for something. And hopefully Don Wells doesn't throw more people under the bus just to deflect off him. You know, this has just been going on too long. This needs to stop. This case needs to be found before innocent lives, more innocent lives get hurt. I say that with genuine sincerity. God bless everyone. If you know any information on the whereabouts of Summer Wells, contact the Tennessee Borough Investigation at 1-800-TBI-FINE or the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. God bless. Love your loved ones. Addiction is serious. So if you have an addiction out there, there's people out there that do care. You have an opportunity to get help, you know, save yourself. You know, it has devastating effects on, on, on families and the community. God bless. Everyone be safe.